How often do you add grip strengthening exercises to your fitness routine? An overlooked yet critical aspect of overall fitness, grip strength plays a pivotal role in enhancing your workout performance. Now let's talk about an effective yet simple exercise that not only improves your grip strength, but also promotes shoulder mobility and core stability. The dead hang. This simple yet powerful exercise can take your fitness game to a whole new level. Stay tuned to learn the step-by-step -step process of performing dead hangs. Dead hangs may sound intimidating, but they are simple and highly beneficial. So what exactly are dead hangs? Picture this, you're hanging from a pull-up bar, your body straight and relaxed, your arms and shoulders doing the work to keep you off the ground. That's a dead hang, folks. This exercise is a powerhouse of benefits. First, it greatly improves your grip strength, which is essential for any lifting exercises and overall functional fitness. But that's not all. Dead hangs also increase your shoulder mobility, providing a gentle yet effective stretch that can help alleviate common shoulder issues. And let's not forget about core stability. While it might not seem like it, maintaining a dead hang position requires significant core engagement, which over time can lead to enhanced core stability and strength. The beauty of dead hangs is that they're suitable for everyone, from beginners just starting their fitness journey to advanced enthusiasts looking to add variety to their routine. Now that you know what dead hangs are and their benefits, it's time to learn how to do them. Get ready to hang tight as we delve into the process of performing dead hangs. This exercise is simple yet effective, but as with all exercises, proper form and technique are paramount. So, let's get started. Your first step is to find a sturdy bar. It could be a pull-up bar in your local gym or even a tree branch in your backyard. Just make sure it's strong enough to hold your weight without any wobble. Now position your hands shoulder width apart on the bar. Your grip should be firm, but don't squeeze too hard. Remember the idea is to hang, not to pull yourself up. Once you're holding on, let your body hang with your feet off the ground. You can bend your knees if the bar is low, or you can keep your legs straight if that's more comfortable. The important thing is that your body is hanging freely and not touching the ground. Now here comes the crucial part. You need to maintain this position for as long as possible. It might be a few seconds in the beginning, but that's okay. The goal is to gradually increase the time as your grip strength improves. During the exercise, keep your body relaxed. Avoid any unnecessary tension in your shoulders or neck. Breathe normally, and try to keep your mind focused on the task at hand. Remember, practice makes perfect. Consistency is key in reaping the benefits of dead hangs. Dead hangs may seem challenging, but don't let that deter you. Remember, the beauty of this exercise lies in its simplicity and the immense benefits it offers. It's a small change to your routine, but the payoff is huge. Give dead hangs a try and witness the improvements in your grip strength and overall fitness. Thank you for watching and keep hanging in there.